Welcome to this episode of Caillou Talks. Hi there. I'm, this is Caillou Talks. Caillou Talks. This isn't your typical interview episode. It's just me, Caillou, deep diving into a topic. Now, today I want to chat about something you people might find a little controversial. If you caught my last episode on Caillou Talks, you know I had the chance to work with a company focused on educating people about responsible gaming. I want to discuss how the video games aren't all bad. It can actually have positive effects on our mental health, when used responsibly, of course. There are a ton of medical research out there that shows gaming can be good for you. If you're a parent, I urge you to give this podcast a listen. Seriously, just hear me out. I know you're urging to just pause that button and say, kids, stop watching this. There are lots of misconceptions about video games and their impact. But the truth is, video games can help us build problem-solving skills, encourage social interaction through online gaming, but despite the fact I like offline better, just saying, and give our brains a very good workout. That's just me saying. Playing video games can be a fantastic way to unwind. Just look at me. I play video games once a weekend, and I am very relaxed. What I really love about them is the mental challenge they offer. When you play video games, it feels like every part of your brain is firing on all cylinders to help you progress to the next level. Depending how how tricky the game is, you might need to come up with strategies and think things through. That's pretty much how all video games work. Playing video games really gets your brain working, which can help you boost your problem-solving skills. You learn to think on your feet because you're focused on winning or reaching higher levels. And don't be ashamed of that, because who isn't? And that zone of intense concentration can help you find ways to overcome the challenges that the game throws at you. I get a great sense of achievement from playing video games. You have clear goals and missions that you can that's so satisfying to reach new levels. This can help the kids develop a strong sense of pride, commitment, and the ability to work hard to accomplish their goals. Another thing you need to learn in my in life. Another thing video games also help is you be emotionally resilient because sometimes you lose and you don't get to the level you need to get. It helps you learn how to fail and keep trying. But like I said, all this is beneficial if done responsibly. I think the part that bothers people is most about video games is that sometimes it seems like people who love video games just play a little bit too much. And I, and I appreciate that. That's why it's important to set limits because becoming dependent on video games and to escape the feelings I mentioned above, if you play more than six hours a week, it may be a little too much. And maybe if you can't stop playing video games, no matter how hard you try, if that's the case, you should ask for help to talk to someone, like a therapist. Another way to handle this is to play with friends you know very well. Playing with strangers in the game can lead to something I, I a lot of people call cyberbullying. It may be safer to play with people that you already know. That's how I play video games all the time with my friends and family. Also, make sure to play with your video games in person. It's actually quite fun when you get to be in the same room with other people playing the same old game. Old school style. Or at least I think I've never been in the 80s. Now, I'm going to share to you one of my favorite hands-down video games. Which, by the way, I recommend for people of all ages. Especially those who love creativity and adventure. The one, the only, Minecraft. And I know you can't see the mess of it because of the because of the microphone. I'm sorry. Anyway, to people who don't know what Minecraft is, well, you are in for a treat. Because for the rest of the half of the video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step play-by-play on Minecraft. The, the creation utopia. Now, Minecraft is a game about placing blocks and having adventures. That's basically the core of the game. It's a survival experience about staying alive and having your own fantastic world that also creates space to build almost anything you can imagine with no anything holding you back. The secrets of survival are having a steady supply of food and staying safe from monsters while building different structures. Building a shelter is pretty easy. Your hand is the first mining tool, so you can use it to hit trees or dirt until they turn into blocks. These blocks will appear in your toolbar, and you can place them right before you build a shelter. There is no way for monsters to get in the shelter. I tried it, and it was so amazing. But you can also hear the zombies groan. It was kind of creepy. But anyway, you can build infinite things in Minecraft. 
like like doors, you an essential for building, windows so you can see through, and etc. You'll find out when you play the game. But for now, focus on surviving. Most monsters come out at night. If they come out at day, the sunlight will burn them to death. But there's also some monsters that cannot be burned to death by sunlight. So stay safe. Until sunrise, you m might be safe. Animals are everywhere, and you can hurt, hunt them down. It'll only take a few blows of your hands to finish them off. They drop meat, lever, and wool. That's the common things that they drop that you need to do. To survive, but if you're a vegetarian or just think that hitting pigs and cows and sheep or a little, with big asses and, or swords is a little bit cruel for your taste, there's also apples, melons, and other veggie options to be found. But it's gonna take a while for you to find. So meat is is basically the fastest way to get food. The box that make up the tree is leaves and wood. You don't just need wood to build. You can also turn the wood into wood planks. Wood planks are the first block you can find in Minecraft. One tree can equal four planks, and you need those planks to build a crafting table. Now, back to back to it. Certain blocks need stronger tools to break, like stone. You need a wooden tools to build to break stone, and you need stone to build stone tools. And stone tools can break iron, and iron tools is a lot stronger. And iron is the only thing to that can break diamonds. Break or mine a block, pick it up. When it, and place it somewhere and build something, anything. It's your world. Like I said, infinite possibilities with nothing stopping you. You can also explore different worlds such as deserts, oceans, and etc. You'll find out when you play the game. A basic pickaxe is all you need to go anywhere you want to go in the world. Obviously, you can fight in Minecraft. There's only one way to f defend yourself in Minecraft, and that's fighting. The monsters will come out at night. So you better learn how to defend yourself until then. Now, combat is more than personal skills than just the weapon in your hands. From the noble pickaxe, the common tool of Minecraft, to even your bare hands can be a deadly weapon for anything. From the common creeper to the big cre to the big spiders. Enemies like zombies and spiders or creepers. Common enemies like that in the overworld will come towards you and try to attack you with unique attacks. Zombies are melee damage. They'll just try to attack you and inflict damage until you die. Spiders will take the high ground with their climbing abilities and attack you from above. Creepers are walking bombs. Don't get too close to them or else they'll self-destruct and they can easily kill you with just one blow. But the good news is if you dodge the blow, so the creepers just die. And they kind of drop gunpowder if you kill them. Which is very good for TNT. So as I was saying, timing and range is everything when it comes to attacking. To time it right and to get within your range, you can use those two elements to even fight the final boss known as the Ender Dragon. Minecraft is a creative game that can allow you to build many things with limitless possibilities. It helps you with mental stimulation and shows you that the world has infinite possibilities. With time and dedication, endless building creations can be made. And every time you build something, you feel accomplished. Minecraft makes me feel accomplished wherever I build an incredible structure or do something good, like slaying the dragon in the boss level. But don't let it fool you, because there is no end in Minecraft. That's just the name of the dimension the dragon lives, the end. No matter what happens, I guarantee you will feel accomplished. Next is social interaction. As I said before, this game is about creativity, but what's creativity without people to share your amazing creations with? Am I right? In Minecraft, you can share your friend, you can share your creations with friends online across the globe or play with friends locally with a split screen. I love playing with friends offline. It feels nice playing the same game with all the people you know and love to have around in one room playing the same game you love to play. And now the last thing is emotional resilience. See, when someone destroys your structure, do you give up? No. You say to yourself, I can try again. Minecraft can allow you to keep building and building again, no matter how many mistakes you make or no matter how many times you die. Just ask me, there's this one time I got blown up by a creeper and I lost all my stuff. Just like this one time I like found diamonds and then I mined it with my iron pickaxe and then a creeper blow up and I and I almost cried. I was like this. <laughs> As I was saying, 
No matter, like I said, no matter how many mistakes you make, just keep trying again and you will feel accomplished. Like I did when I killed the creeper that killed me. If you are not a gamer and think video games are all bad, if you watch this video, you are now enlightened with all of the bad, with all the good and the bad of video games. Remember, and to all the people who are gamers, make sure to be, to play responsibly. Don't bully gamers in the chat. Be nice and treat others the way you want to be treated. Be a great rese resemblance to the golden rule and never dig straight down in Minecraft. And the people who haven't seen Minecraft, now you know all of the amazing basics of Minecraft. Now you know all the good things of video games and the good things about my favorite game, Minecraft. Be sure to tune in the next episode and tune into the Caillou website to buy yourself some Caillou Talks merch. Bye-bye now. See you next time. And I really mean it. Do not dig straight down to Minecraft. You'll immediately regret it. See you next time.